recently I had a comment off someone asking me to do a little video on the microphones I use. It surprised me a little bit because I only make little videos here and there and I'm quite amazed that anybody's interested at all in how I record stuff. But um, you want a little video on it? Um, I should do one. Everything you're hearing at the moment is being recorded directly through the camera. Uh, this camera is a Zoom, sorry it's not a Zoom, it's a Panasonic. Um, and the great thing about this camera, it's incredibly easy to use. I've got it on a long-term loan off a friend. Uh, when you turn it over, as you can see, there's an input for a uh, microphone. And um, you can plug a microphone like this in, the Lavalia. Um, I often use that myself when I'm out and about. I'm not going to do it in this case because the comparison is to see what these microphones are like uh, as standalone microphones. Okay, so far everything up until now has been on my Panasonic camera. The other microphone that I use is um, this one. It's um, ignore the Gorilla Pod uh, stand. Um, it's a Zoom H2, I think it's called. Um, I borrowed this off the same person I borrowed the camera off. Um, I seem to have this on long term, so I'm quite happy with that. It's very easy to use this. It has lots of different features, but all I ever use are the recording features. Um, you can probably pick one up second hand for about 40 or 50 pounds or 80 or 90 dollars or 100 euros, something like that. Uh, there's a newer version out now because this one's about 10 years old. It's really good. It's got two microphones, so you can have the front one or the back one, or you can have them together to give you stereo. Three different settings. Fantastic. We'll start this in a second. I'll put the cover on because it looks a bit more professional and it stops, um, it's a muffler, so it stops any sort of hissing usually. And um, the other thing that I use frequently, you might have seen on my videos, is this microphone. It's the Boya H1, I think, or something like that it's called. And uh, it's the most popular one out there, pretty much. It costs about 18 euros for me. $20 for the Americans, I guess, something like £15 if you're in the UK. Incredibly cheap. Um, it's a fantastic thing. Uh, it's got masses of cable on it, meters and meters and meters of it. And it's got this little thing in the middle here with a battery in it. Uh, I'm going to plug this in my phone and use it for the phone. But I can also plug it in direct into the camera and use it that way. And you just switch this little switch to camera for that to happen. Okay. Let's put this back on. I never bother with sort of hiding it at the moment. Even when I'm out and about now, I just clip it on and use it because I ain't no professional, so I'm not going to waste time putting it under my shirt. Let's see how we can do stuff here. Um, the little bit of video you saw showing the Panasonic, I filmed that on this camera. This is a little Fuji camera. I bought this off somebody on Facebook last year for 60 euros. It was a great little camera. I've used it loads of times. Um, it takes nice little snaps. It's a point and shoot camera. That's what it is. It's cheap, but it was good. It was my first camera. Excellent. Coming back to the recordings, let's um, put this little Zoom H2 on. Recording. Yeah. Let's put my Lavalium one on. On my phone that's recording as well let's do the familiar uh, sort of uh, synchronization of them one two three microphone tests put that to one side put that to one side okay so up until now everything has been recorded on the microphone in the Panasonic camera what I'm going to do in a moment, in post, when I'm doing editing, I'm going to um, stop the audio on the camera mic. I'm going to stop the audio on the phone mic. And uh, from this moment, now everything that you're hearing is being recorded on this mic. As you can see, it's a couple of feet away from me. And I'm hoping that when it comes back to doing the editing, it's incredibly clear because it has been in the past. It's a great little microphone. Right, next. Let's turn this around back this way a little bit. Uh, now again in post, I'm going to be taking off the audio for the Zoom. And uh, now everything from here on in, you're going to hear, is going to be recorded on my phone. Let's check it's still recording. Yes, 1 minute and 15 seconds. So it's still recording on there. 
So um, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to do huge comparisons on it. That's just showing the person out there wanting to know and anyone else that is interested in the microphones that I use to make my films. If there's anything you've enjoyed about this, please give me a thumbs up. Better still, you can subscribe and hit this notification bell and you'll get all of my upcoming videos. And like the person who asked um, a question on my microphones, if there's anything you think um, I can help you out with, ask me a question and if I can answer it, I will. Because um, like lots of other people watching these videos, I knew nothing about um, recording or editing or anything 18 months ago. It's a big learning curve. I'm still learning and it's still fun. Uh, what I'm going to do at the very end of this, in case you're new to it like I was a year ago, um, I will show you how I managed to link up all of these uh, uh, various audio tracks with this little bit of film footage. So let's head off from here uh, to my editing suite and go and do that. Okay, as promised, this is how I usually add on additional audio tracks onto my video footage. And in order to show you what I'm doing, I'm using OBS, which I think stands for Open Source Broadcasting Services. And this tends to be the standard for doing tutorials, if you like, um, on YouTube. Right, I try not to waste too much time on this. Here we are back in the video pad. Video. Now, my original video footage, I've dragged that down into track one. So I've got my video track one uh, my audio track one. I've changed audio track one name to camera, so I know what it is. On the audio files, I put in the Zoom uh, audio and the phone audio. I've dragged them down into respective columns and lines here, if you like. I've renamed them. So the Zoom audio has been renamed Zoom and the phone audio has been renamed phone. So I know exactly where I am. Let me make the tracks a little bit bigger. The whole reason for clicking my fingers in front of the camera, if you're new to this game, let me just play this bit. Uh, what the reason for that is, if you snap your fingers in front of the camera and you've got all of your other audio equipment running at the same time, what will happen then when you open up your audio uh, lines here or the files, you see there's a nice sharp spike for every click of your finger. So on my video track that has the original audio, I generally put the playing bar over one of the clicks like that. It's a little bigger again. And then I do my very best to line up any additional footage with the same click in the same position. So what happens now when it plays back, in theory, all of the, well, in actual fact, what will happen is you will have all of the audio playing at exactly the same pace in the same time, pretty much. Let me move this down a little bit more and then move this to here and show you how I managed to divide up my audio tracks. Just play this bit. Okay, as you can see, when I said, as of this moment, I split my video track all the way down. Each track I split and then let me move the bar out the way. Quite simply, what I did was on the camera audio, I put that on mute. On the phone audio, I put that on mute. And now the only thing that's um, playing back is the zoom audio. That one's open. And in order to bring the level of that up, what I did was I clicked on the FX button. I went on to amplify and I increased the gain on, let me close that one down because uh, that one shouldn't be there. I increased the gain up to 308 on that. The reason being, as you saw in the video, I had the zoom recorder about two feet away from me. So I had to increase the gain on that, as simple as that. And if we just move this across to this last bit here, press play. Right here is going to be recorded on my phone. Let's check it's still recording. Yes, one minute. There we go. Seconds. And let me stop it's that. Come back here. I did exactly the same there. This is the recording bit on the phone. So here's the camera. I put that on mute. Here's the zoom recorder. I put that on mute. And here's the phone, which was using my lapel mic, the Boyer M1. That was open and that's quite simply how i separated all the audio so that i could give you an idea how it worked 
and how I add additional audio to original video. So if there's any questions you have, I'll try and answer them if I can. I'm still on a big learning curve like everyone is. And thank you for watching and I look forward to making my next video about, um, I think I'll be using, showing how to use a mask in VideoPad because someone has asked me how to do that. So until my next video, bye for now.